Well, it's finally arrived. The salmon flying stonefly hatch out here on the Deschutes. And been dreaming about this one all year. So uh, it's early in the hatch. So I'm out here just trying to see what I can, what I can coax out. And uh, start with a dry dropper and then uh, just see if I can get anything to come up for the dries. And uh, if so, then that'll be great. Uh, if not, then really rely heavily on the dropper or just nymph a little bit more. So, uh, but yeah, I'm gonna go uh, see what happens out here and try some, try some water. And you know, every time I come out here, I like to explore a little bit of something new, you know, and I've been fishing out here for a long time, so it's getting harder and harder to do, but, or it's meaning that I have to get into more challenging spots, but, uh, but that's okay. I'll, I'll, I'll take that. So, uh, we'll see what happens and uh, fingers crossed. Thank you. Nice one. Thanks. Have a good day. Any sort of major hatch on a famous fly fishing river is going to be exciting. Having one on a world-class river that's right out your back door is the icing on the cake for me. The salmon and stonefly hatch on the Deschutes is one that if all the conditions lined up and you timed it just right, could be some of the best fishing you'll do all year. Seeing big, stocky native trout tucked in under trees just a few feet from the shore, aggressively eating large dry flies, will never get old to me. Fishing for them can be both technical and easy, depending on the situation. Thank you. 
The Lower Deschutes really is a unique and wonderful ecosystem. Quite literally a long green stripe that cuts through the middle of the high desert and attracts wildlife and eager anglers in a way that you don't get to experience on many other rivers. I especially love to be on the water when the sun dips behind the canyon walls and the insects and trout become almost feverish for a few hours. It's nothing short of magical. New day, new water. Uh, had a good day yesterday and a really good evening. So a friend of mine, Ron, came out last night and uh, he went snowboarding on Mount Hood, then came out here, fished, caught one of the biggest fish he's caught on this river, and then woke up this morning and is now snowboarding bachelor and maybe back tonight. So uh, that's pretty awesome. Um, but it's just me now today fishing and uh, yeah, yesterday I, you know, I started off with the dropper, caught, caught a nice fish with it, but I lost it pretty quickly. And then I caught enough fish on the dry that I just kind of stayed with the dry. And, you know, it's what I came out here to do. I could probably effectively fish this a lot more if, uh, if I was to throw another dropper on and I might do that. But um, in the meantime, I'm, uh, I'm just going to keep working this run. This, is a, this has been a really good... Uh, run that I fished a number of years ago and, and especially during this hatch. So gonna do that and uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what I can do and especially this evening. So when Ron came out, I just didn't film that much. I, you know, it was nice to just kind of catch up with him, hang out with him. Fishing was great. I mean, the, the hatch really exploded once the sun came off the water, but uh, so I'll try to get a little bit more of that tonight. But, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go kind of work this run. I'm gonna keep fishing and man, I, I'm just having such a good time. This is, I, I think about this hatch all year. And so I'm gonna be doing a couple videos of this hatch. So being the fact that it's on the early end of it, uh, there's a lot, you know, there's a few weeks here that are just gonna be go time. So, uh, but yeah, I'm gonna stop standing around talking and uh, do some fishing. So here goes. Thank you. 
was a great kickoff to the most anticipated fishing event of the year for me. I can't wait to get back out and get more time on the water before it all wraps up. Some years this hatch can be a bit of a bust, but this year looks like it's shaping up to be a good one. We'll see you again next time. Thanks for coming along for the journey. Cheers. Thank you.